Hey everybody, it's Dana. Welcome back to my YouTube channel and blog. Today I'm playing with the June Hero Arts card kit. This one is so pretty. It's like an African safari and I love it. Let's go ahead and get started. Last month I showed you that I used the packaging from the Hero Arts card kit. I'm going to also show you a way that I also use the packaging this month. So this background scene I loved. So I decided to make some photos let's say right from the package so i'm going to use a rectangle die cut and i'm just going to grab some washi tape and i'm lining it up where i could get a good like picture i would say right from the package so i'm going to go ahead and run it th this through my die cut machine and this is what i have I actually look like i have a, a safari scene picture so I went ahead and I set up my, my mini Misty and I already have a few of the images set up. So I'm gonna show you the images really quick. So I just grabbed some of these smaller images right here in the corner and then one of the little sentiments. So that's already lined up on my Misty because this is the second one I'm making. I already made one already. I'm gonna go ahead and place down my magnet I'm going to use my VersaFine or VersaMark rather for this. Now, because the backing of this paper is has a um, like a slick surface, it's almost like photo paper. I'm going to go ahead and heat emboss this. So that's why I'm going to use the VersaMark. So I'm going to go ahead and line up my little animals. So I have like a little family going on. I'm going to go ahead and press that down. And this really came out so pretty, you guys. So that's what I wanted to actually show you in a video. So I'm going to go ahead and make sure I get a good impression the first time. I'm going to go ahead and pop that out of the way. And then go ahead and set that aside. Now, for my color, I didn't want to use black. So I'm going to use some copper embossing powder. I thought this would really go nice with the undertones of the browns and the golds. I am eventually going to put this on the card and I am going to use a little bit of black, but I think just for the card using black embossing powder might have just been a little bit too stark for me. So I'm just going to go ahead and make sure I get a really good coverage on that and you can see how pretty that looks even before I even heat emboss it. That looks pretty good, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap off, or actually put back the rest of that embossing powder. At this point, I really wish um, I had went ahead and photocopied the packaging before I started to cut it up, because I really loved how this came out. Like I said, I already made one of these already, and I should have at that point been like, wait, wait to photocopy the paper because you know you're going to want to do this again and again. So I'm going to, um, right here you see, I'm just going to use a very fine paintbrush and I'm just tapping off any of the extra um, embossing powder. I did not use my EK Success powder tool with this. So I'm just making sure that any fray pieces that I have there that I do not want to melt onto that paper, I have an opportunity at this point to tap off. Now, right on the little tail, I did miss a spot. So I just wanna make sure I get that covered before I go ahead and heat up my heat gun. Now you can see when I took this paper, you can really see the shine on the paper. It's more like photo paper. So I need to make sure that once I get um, my heat tool, I want to make sure that that heat tool is really, really hot when I bring it to the paper. All right, so now we can go ahead and um, go ahead and get this embossing powder melted. So you will see here, I'm not bringing this to the paper at all. I am making sure that this gun is really, really hot before I bring it to the paper. I don't want it to scorch this pretty paper. So I just need to make sure it is nice and hot because I, I want that embossing powder. As soon as I bring it to the paper, I want it to start melting. So now you can kind of see that 
pretty copper color start melting onto that gorgeous paper. I wish you guys can see this in real life because it is absolutely so pretty. All right, so that looks great. So can you see my little safari scene now? And look, I just had to stamp. All I had to do was just stamp. My, my background was already done for me. So this is the other one I did earlier. And look how pretty, and it just came from the packaging. Awesome sauce. So yeah, it can't get any easier than this, you guys. Just cannot get any easier than this. So remember to think outside the box when you get your kits. Just, just totally think outside the box. You can make things work in very unexpected places. Now, I did end up using and making a card with these panels here, as well as some of the other things that were just part of the packaging. They had some really great, like, raffia that came. And I went ahead and put that on the card as well. So use what comes in the packaging, all right? I will see you guys in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.